Hello, Mr. Ed here. Here we are, end of December. Everybody's home Christmas uh, vacation. So that means one thing, I got the shop to myself, which gives me a lot of time to, to work on, on the project that I've got going on today. And that's right behind me. This pallet of wood, it's not just a pallet of wood. <laughs> it's a hundred bee boxes <laughs> that need to be assembled. And uh, so what I'm gonna do today, in the video it's not so much show the assembly of, of the box but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the video the video I'm going to make is about the fixture that I'm going to build so that I can then expedite the process of, of putting the boxes together and then nailing them so that it'll be a square box um, and then it'll be easy for me to to actually to assemble the, the, the fixtures so I went on the internet and, and uh, looked to see if I could find any uh, fixtures that were already there. I didn't want to remake the wheel. So there are there are fixtures out there, but most of the fixtures uh, are dealing with um, boxes that have butt joints. So a butt joint, that's just a, a, a joint where you have your two edges of your wood and they just butt up together. Well, that's a good joint. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but these, as you can see, these are finger joints. And these finger joints, what happens is that, as you know, they'll, they line up together. It's a much stronger joint. It's a much stronger joint, but it takes a little bit more time to put them together. And the fixtures that they have on, uh, showing on the Internet, they won't build one of these things because you cannot put the box together like this. You have, have to actually assemble the box and then put it together. So the fixture I'm going to build today and show you all how I build it, um, is a fixture that we can do that. So uh, by the grace of God, by the end of today, I'll, I'll have the fixture built and even maybe have a couple of these boxes put together. So it's not really wrangling, but still, let's wrangle up some boxes. So before you even begin on, on the project, you're gonna have to decide uh, on, on what kind of clamps that you're gonna use to assemble your boxes. Uh, for me, I, I chose to use the, well, the, the, the brand name is Bicey, these Bicey clamps. And I like them because they have a, a, a really a long grip on them. This, this is probably about three or four inches right here. And it'll, it'll grip up high on the box. As well as the way that I'm going to build this fixture, uh, I need a, a higher gripping part right here because I'm, I'm setting my clamp down, as you'll see, on the ground. So I need, I need a higher one. So you have to decide on... on you know which clamp you're going to use and then you can make your fixture accordingly um, and because of what I, the process that I'm going to be using on this I'm going to be clamping from the bottom of our box and then I'll, I'll, I'll apply some clamps up on the top as well so the first thing I need to do is to make a, a, a square fixture because we want our boxes to be square and as well as to be able to have our clamps in alignment that everything is going to line up when we, we put our pressure on it'll all pull in square and tight. So I've already cut everything out um, and uh, I haven't assembled it yet uh, but I I've cut it out and I'll grab the camera and I'll show you um, what I've got on this so far. And here's our fixture. It's not assembled yet. I've just got it dry assembled. Everything is cut though and, and the clamps are in place to give you an idea of what we're going to do. And we've got two clamps running this way and two clamps running this way. The idea is so that we can get our box and square our box up like this. Now because the, you're having clamps running crossing each other, one of these clamps has to be higher than the other set. And so to do that, to accomplish that, um, we, I've taken the two outside pieces right here and notched them, as you can see right here, I notched them down so that my clamp sits flush to the top right here and on the bottom ones, I've notched the bottom out so that they can ride over the clamp right there and still everything still is, is flush. Now the reason that I want to have everything flush is so that when I set my piece of squaring piece of plywood on top of this, then everything is going to be able to pull in tight and there won't be any kind of obstruction uh, to the clamping ability of the clamps to get our box in square. So let me grab a, a little piece of squaring material and I'll show you what it's going to look like after, after I put it on. Alright, now here's our squaring block. 
And what this squaring block is going to do is as I put my piece of side material on the box right here, I will put it so that it's flush. It's not together, so it's kind of falling apart. I'll put it so that I can see that it's going to be flush to this edge right here, and it will also be flush to this edge right here. So these two edges are going to be flush up against the inside edge of our box. And if, if they're flush up to the inside of the edge of the box, once I clamp everything together, then the box itself is going to be square, which is very important. That we want, to, we want our boxes square. We don't want them out so that when we start stacking our boxes, we get airspace in there and bees get new entrances, and we just don't want that. So we want a, we want a square box. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble the uh, fixture at this moment, and, um, and I'll give you a shot of what everything looks like after it's assembled. And now our top piece is, is placed on top of here. And uh, what I've done was I made sure that when I put my, my square corner, which is this corner right here, this is what I have to line my box up when I put it in here because this piece is a little bit smaller than the inside of a box because I don't want it to fit really, really tight in there where I couldn't get it off. So as long as the inside of my edge of my box is touching, pretty much touching the edge of this line right here, that box is going to be square because we're at a 90 degree right, right here. So let's go ahead and grab a box, uh, uh, um, four pieces, set one in here and see how that's going to uh, uh, work out. I'll tell you what, before I even do that, I'm going to go ahead and mount this fixture on my Lazy Susan to really help me speed things up. So after all of that, finally got the, the box all put together and, and uh, on, the, on the Lazy Susan and I'm, I'm ready to uh, start assembling uh, um, some boxes. Now before I start assembling, let me, a couple other things. What am I using? I'm, I'm shooting um, the boxes with a, uh, a air gun right here. And what I'm, what I'm using in there, it's a, uh, a two inch galvanized ring shank nail. A uh, ring shank meaning that there's little ridges around it so that as this nail is driven into the wood, these ridges will make it difficult for the nail to back out. Also, there's a head on there to uh, prevent the, uh, the head, uh, the nail from working out as well. So this, all, all these things um, will, will help in the longevity of the box and, and the, uh, the nail not being that it's uh, galvanized, it won't even rust. The other thing is when we put the box together, and I'll, I'll tighten the bottom, the top is going to be a little bit out, so I have to drop some clamps on top of that. Once I drop those on there, I'll tap it all around just to make sure I get all my joints closed up. Once the box is all closed up, then I'll go ahead and shoot it. So let's go ahead and uh, drop a box in here and see how it works. There you have it. One complete box. Well, there's only uh, about 98 more of them over there to do, so I think I better get busy. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed. I'm out of here until the next video. So that's all I have for you on this one. Only got 99, about 98 more. The the joint has to come in together. The joint has to come in so that it meets up. I'm gonna put this. They have what they call finger joints, and so these little joints they interlock with each other.
across the bottom of it that when you add your next row of clamps, they're going to be running. It's, it's complicated. Let me just. They interlock with each other and uh, they slide in into the into the fingers. <laughs> I'm having trouble here. <laughs> Again. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Red. I'm out of here until the next video. <laughs>